five, four, three, two, zero. And liftoff of the Atlas V. Launching the first interplanetary mission from the West Coast. And NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. I gotta figure out how to grow four years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. It's a completely robotic mission. It's been a plan for decades to get humans to Mars. Insight, though, is absolutely focused on the science. Um, it's focused on the first time that we're going to look deep inside another planet. Um, and it's focused on, essentially, by getting that information, finding out how another planet formed um, in our own solar system. I am the greatest botanist on this planet. And Earth, which is very wet and warm and just right for life. Whereas Mars is very dry, it's much colder. And that's also related to what has happened inside of Mars. The mission um, is going to be looking below the surface and it's going to be doing that by picking up Mars quakes. And I'm still alive, obviously. It's very much a question of survival. It's not so much that, you know, we're holding on for human survival, but we're certainly hanging on to try and get as much data as possible for as long as possible. <laughs> In your face, Neil Armstrong. There's a very much bigger picture. We would start understanding how our own solar system had evolved. It's a little like seeing your own youth, not quite, because it's a different planet, but it, it's, it's, it's stuck at a, a much earlier stage of development. We'd like to understand better what caused that to happen, why it hasn't kept on going. There's so many things that are unknown about Mars that we don't even know how unique the Earth is. Is it a model for all other planets? Have all other planets formed in a similar way to the Earth? But some are just a bit bigger and some are a bit smaller. So there is a quite a large picture that comes out from just looking inside one other planet.